Hi guys, it's Carissa. It has been a while since I have talked home decor with you, and I haven't really needed to do much by way of home decor, but I have been wanting so badly to purchase new towels for our bathroom. It's one of those things that you know you need to do, and I don't know, me anyway, I didn't feel like looking into it or looking at them or figuring out what I was going to do for colors or any of that. And I was influenced slightly by my husband today. I, I'm not saying I dislike our choices, but I don't know if I would have gone in this direction if he hadn't been there. So basically, what we have is a fully tiled bathroom. And it is beige and like a cream color. And when we first moved into the house, it... um it was kind of striking. I mean, it looked like a hotel bathroom to us a little bit. We purchased the house after it had been flipped. So there were things like this that were done to it. And I don't think it looks bad, but it does limit us in terms of what we can do with colors in there and just with our linens, I guess. So we recently purchased really nice, soft, br dark brown floor mats for that bathroom. And our old towels were similar colors to the walls. Um, they were from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think in 2010, 2009, 2010. Um, it's sort of this reversible ginkgo biloba plant, I think that's what that is. Um, and I don't dislike them, but they've... They're crying, Uncle. <laughs> this is one of the hand towels, and it's one of the ones that's in better shape compared to others. Um, so it was time for new towels, and Mike kept saying when we were looking at them at Kohl's today that he thought that the colors I was picking were boring, but I was trying to just play it safe. I was going to just do a nice chocolate brown to match the floor mats that we got in there. Um, and again, I'm not trying, I wasn't trying to be matchy-matchy, I was just trying to, I guess, work with what we've got. So Mike's first instinct was to go for a patterned towel and he was looking at something that's a similar pattern to my curtains. It was like a teal, a dark teal with a white pattern on top of it. And the quality of those towels didn't feel like what I was really looking to purchase. I wanted to get something a little bit nicer than that um, that we could have for a while and maybe just you know I could add on to it later and get a few more because that was one mistake I made the last time I bought towels. I got four bath towels and two hand towels and we have just been using and washing those same towels over and over and over again. Now granted I did have some already solid colored ones that were this tan um, that I was throwing in there as well but we put these through a lot in the few years that we've had them. So I basically made Mike look at the wall of the Vera Wang towels and I said, I think these are the ones that I'd like to purchase. And I had a 20% off friends and family coupon that ended today and a $5 off coupon for the something program that they have. Yes to you, you, something, you to you. I don't know what it is. Um, and <laughs> so I thought that that was nice and the um, bath towels were $14.99 and the hand towels were $11 something, $11.89 or something like that. So Mike chose this color which I think works. He was, he really wanted something I think more like jewel toned blue but I just felt like it was too much for the little bathroom that we have and I didn't think that it, it we could really get away with that color in there. Which then I said, okay if you really insist on getting blue towels and don't get me wrong, I love blue. It's my favorite color. But I just was like, eh. I said, well, then we need to get a new shower curtain, which he was happy to do. Well, in order to tie in the dark brown floor mats and the tan walls with the blue towels, I said we need to try and get something that's similar colors. There actually is a decent selection there, but I didn't really like any of them. <laughs> um, I didn't want anything with stripes just straight across. For some reason, that's I don't like that. And my shower is self-conscious. It feels fat with striped curtains. Just, I'm just gonna stop that sentence now. So we ended up with this, which is super cheesy, I think. I mean, I know, I love home decor with birds, but I, I don't know. So we ended up with this shower curtain. This is the Free Spirit Garden Pond shower curtain. Um, and it does, it works because it has that dark brown and light blue and some of the tan elements. And it has embroidered hummingbirds, which is a little bit cheesy, but see. <laughs> 
I don't know, it'll be something different. And it's probably the best thing that we could do at this point to add a little bit more color and keep it all cohesive in the bathroom that we have. Now, I am not a decorative hand towel person. This is the um, new hand towel that I purchased. But I do kind of like those. I don't know, maybe I'll get a couple of those to go with the ones we've got. Um, but we did really well. I purchased five bath towels, five hand towels, the shower curtain. Mike got a couple of pairs of jeans, and it was about $180. So, listen, I used to be very anti-cold for no good reason. It's one of those things that you're just like, oh, I everybody likes that place so much, so I don't. So, I don't know. It's just one of those things that when everybody else likes it so much, it just makes me feel like, ugh, who cares? But... It's pretty awesome, especially if you do all these things to combine coupons and sales. I don't normally like to do all that stuff. I just feel like I don't have time for that. If you're going to give me a discount, give me a discount. I don't want to have to go running around collecting coupons and stuff. But it worked out pretty nicely, and I earned $30 in Kohl's cash today. So anyway, here is the before shot of our bathroom, so you can kind of get an idea. I do like our shower curtain, but... I don't know, it's a little bit boring too. And uh, here is the after. I think it's, I think it's nice. It's good enough for now. <laughs> and this concludes this kind of pointless video. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.